Welcome back to another Smart Fit Method Nutrition Moment. I'm Megan Lyons, double board certified clinical and holistic nutritionist. And now that you know why maintaining blood sugar is so important, let's talk about a few ways to stabilize our blood sugar today. The first one seems obvious, but let's talk about it anyway. It's intaking less added sugar in your daily diet. So we think of the obvious sources like sodas and candies and muffins and cupcakes, and those all do have added sugar. But I encourage you to go a step further and to take a look at the packaging, the label of your dressings and your sauces and your yogurts and your protein bars. And if there is added sugar in that line that says added sugar, or you notice words like sugar or anything ending in OS, O-S-E in the ingredient list, then maybe choose another option if it's something you consume on a daily basis. So having less overall added sugar. Also having more fiber. If I were going to consume some jelly beans and then I had it alongside some broccoli, my overall blood sugar spike is going to be much less with the combination of the jelly beans and the broccoli because of the added fiber. So adding more fiber anytime you are going to have those carbs or those sugars really helps. More fat also slows down the absorption of sugar, slows down the gastric emptying, the time that it takes for the food to get out of our stomach and into the bloodstream, and that blunts the blood sugar response. So it makes it more of a hill instead of a mountain. So adding healthy fat to your meals with sugar or high carbohydrates can help stabilize that blood sugar. More protein will almost always be the answer. Increasing the protein of a meal does something similar. I like to think about no naked carbs. So if you have those jelly beans alone, that's a naked carb. But if you pair the jelly beans with chicken for protein or avocado for fat or broccoli for fiber, that makes it no longer a naked carb that's gonna be better for your blood sugar. Now, I am under no false precipice that someone will actually eat jelly beans with chicken, but think about this in a normal context. Maybe you want that bowl of pasta. It's going to be great to add some olive oil and some chicken and some broccoli to that pasta instead of just having a plain bowl of pasta. So no naked carbs. One more quick trick for you is that if you're looking at that label, you want the protein plus the fat, those two combined, to be much greater than the sugar. If protein plus fat is greater than sugar, that will be an item that is much more likely to keep your blood sugar stable. This was part one of the tips to keep your blood sugar stable. Stay tuned for the next part with a few more tips.